Hey guys, welcome back to Kennedy K. I'm Kennedy, and for those of you who may not know, I recently just had a baby, and today we are going to be talking about postpartum and everything that I've experienced, because holy cow, it's been crazy. So right now, I am four weeks postpartum, actually today. Wow. And let me just tell you, I feel like I was well prepared when it came to pregnancy and the birth, but I feel like for postpartum, I don't think I was as prepared as I could have been. I'm not gonna lie, postpartum has been pretty hard. And I don't mean to say that to um, scare any of you guys. I just feel like it's the least talked about. And I want to share that there are really hard things and there's a lot of good ways to go through it and to help you to have a better experience postpartum. So, like I've said, I'm only four weeks right now, so I don't know everything, but I do just kind of want to share my experience and also kind of my experience of what happened after the birth and things that have helped me feel better and yeah, just have a better experience with part of. So, first things first, right after I had my baby, I found out that I tore. And when you tear after you're giving birth, it's a little bit harder than if you didn't tear. And so, um, that was a little bit difficult for me when it came to healing and everything. I would say that everything else that could have been hard, I felt like I was really blessed and I um, just had a really easy going birth and I felt like the only thing that was a little bit difficult was tearing and that, that's like, I feel like that was really, that's a big blessing and um, I felt really, really grateful that I had a pretty easy going after birth care. And I'm just super grateful that there weren't any complications with me or the baby. So once I had the baby, I was brought down to the recovery room. And once we were there and we were kind of situated, I was able to go and wash my face and get a little bit cleaned up. And then um, I was able to do some skincare and they also, I had the best nurses. They were able to help me and give me all the products that I needed for the postpartum care for after having a vaginal birth. For those of you who may be going into um, this period of your life where you're about to have a baby, I have the best tools that helped and saved my life. And if you guys are interested in that, comment down below and um, I can do a video on that. Just kind of sharing all the things that I loved and that really helped me a ton. Once I finished with um, doing my skincare, cleaning up and using all of my products, I went and I was able to like just rest for a little bit and I was able to learn how to breastfeed. And that also was a lot harder than I expected. I had heard that it's harder than you think, but again, I was just surprised at how many things go into breastfeeding. Um, luckily I had great nurses again and they helped me a ton and helped me to feel confident in breastfeeding, but that was something that was difficult for me at first. And then once we kind of figured all of that, I was able to um, rest my body. And I will say that it was, low key or actually high key kind of hard to sleep like i was exhausted i also just wanted to look at my baby boy and just like stare at him i don't know if you parents are like that i'm sure it is normal but i just wanted to stare at him all day and just like just admire how beautiful he was and i was just so grateful that he was healthy and it was just really hard to sleep because i wanted just to watch him and make sure he was okay just i just wanted to admire him all night which is kind of funny and i feel like i still have that now even four weeks in there'll be nights where he'll wake up to eat and um i'm really tired and we're done eating and we've already done the changing we've done all the burping and it's just time to lay him back down but it's sometimes so hard to put him down to sleep because i just want to love him and cuddle him it's just like such a cool experience and a, an amazing thing to be a mom and to be able to just look at your sweet little baby and say i I like created you and um, you're just like the most perfect little thing and I don't want to take my eyes off of you. So um, that was a little tricky but I ended up resting and um, again I woke up through the night a little bit trying to learn more and get better at breastfeeding and when he was hungry obviously trying to feed him. The rest of the hospital stay was pretty great. I was able to have some of my family members come in and they were able to um, meet our sweet baby. All of our family members brought us food and we were able just to talk and chat for a little bit. And I was in the hospital for just about 24 hours after our baby was born. Once that 24 hours hit, we were able to bring our baby home and that was so fun to get him all dressed up in his little new outfit 
and I was able to, I don't know if you guys know about this, but I saw this on TikTok and I was like so excited about it to see the dad walk where the dad, you're, cause I, usually the mom is in a wheelchair and she's, as we're um, leaving to go into our car. And so the nurse was pushing me and I was so excited because the dad walk is where the husband is holding the car seat and um, he's walking down the hospital um, hallway and basically walking the car, but it's like so attractive to have Chase holding the car seat and walking with our baby. And that was like such a fun little memory and I will always hold like a, I already took a little picture, it's right here if you wanna see. And I was always hold this little memory in my heart of being able to see the dad walk and that, so that was really, really fun. And we were able to go home and I was able to get into bed and just kind of rest and just focus on figuring out how to be a mom. And Chase and I were able to um, figure out kind of what it's gonna be like and what our schedule is going to be like. And it was like pretty good. It was like a really good time. So the first day of coming home, we basically just rested all day. And then um, a family member has brought over food. And again, we just, basically kind of slept all day and just relaxed and just chilled. The second day was getting a little harder because I felt like I was at, to the point where I was getting really, really tired. I was in a lot of pain just because your body just went through all this stuff and you have to do all these things and it's just kind of a long process. And I felt like I started getting a little overwhelmed just because I'm also the person that likes to have a clean home and like when I'm stressed and my house is clean, I feel it like de-stresses me. And our house was clean before I gave birth but I didn't realize when you come home from the hospital, you have all your bags, you have all this stuff that this hospital has given you, and Chase and I were both exhausted, and it was kind of hard to like clean up and get everything all fixed and stuff. So I was really, really lucky because my mom was able to come and she was able to help me kind of put away things and do some laundry because we already had piled up a ton of laundry. And she was able to kind of put things away from the hospital and, Help me just with like figuring out where I even like it was hard for me to get out of the bed it was nice that my mom was able to like move our bed just closer to um, me so I wouldn't have to get out of bed as much and there was just a lot of little things that I couldn't really figure out until I had a baby okay we're gonna take a little break because baby it just woke up and I need to go feed him really quick so we'll take a little break and um, I'll be right back Okay guys, we are back. Basically, I just wanted to say one thing that's really helped me postpartum is my support system and I'm just really, really grateful for my support system, especially Chase, my husband. He's literally the best and has helped me a ton with either changing diapers or getting me things that I need, especially in this like first few um, weeks, it's kind of hard because he can't do as much, especially when you're breastfeeding um, exclusively. And so I, um, I'm really grateful for him because he's been there for a lot of things that anything I need, he just is there for and it's been great. And I'm just really grateful to have a partner who um, is always um, very kind and always making sure that I, um, I'm doing good and that I need everything and I'm getting everything that I need and um, he's just been really supportive and I'm really grateful for him. And I'm also super grateful for my mom. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, she helped me so much. She came and like cleaned my house for me and just talked to me. And she also um, has taken the baby to let Chase and I sleep. And um, she brought us groceries, she made us dinner, and she's just been amazing and I'm really, really grateful for my mom. And one thing that has been really, really cool as I've been postpartum and becoming a new mom and trying to figure all this stuff out is I have really gained a greater appreciation for my mom and for moms and dads all over the world. There's just a lot that goes into being a parent that you don't realize and I'm just grateful for my mom and I'm grateful for my dad and giving up their sleep and giving up their time and um, changing all my diapers and doing all these things because it can be hard sometimes and I'm really really grateful for my parents and this is just like a little reminder tell your parents how grateful um, you are for them because they've done a lot and I'm really really very very grateful for them and like I said when I was able to kind of going through postpartum and do, figuring all this stuff out being a mom, I was really, really grateful that my mom was there and I was able to call her if I had any questions. She also was just there to help me whenever I needed it. It was just really, really nice to have that. Also, I'm really, really grateful for my mother-in-law as well. She also um, came by, brought us tons of meals and watched the baby when, so Chase and I could sleep. Um, I'm really, really grateful for her and for um, just, again, the support system 
that Chase and I have. So those are just kind of things that have really, really helped me. Another thing that's really helped me postpartum is taking, they told me this in my birth class, even if I don't want to, they say, make sure each parent has 30 minutes to an hour to themselves where they can kind of recuperate and kind of have something to be themselves and that's really helped me a lot. One thing I really like doing that I like for my 30 minutes is I love just taking a really long it girl shower. And my first shower after having the baby was literally the best shower of my entire life. My mom, she had just come and brought me a ton of different things. Just were really great for postpartum and this is really weird to think like, oh, like this is something that you should get um, postpartum. But my mom got me just like some brand new body wash that smelled really good. And um, she bought me like a few different brushes just that I could like um, shower and like scrub my back and stuff. And it was like so rejuvenating for me and it really helped me feel so much better. Like it was literally the most like best rejuvenating thing ever and now I just love my showers and I feel like so when I wake up in the morning after um, all my feeds and everything I love to take a shower and just wash all of like the breast milk off of me and just kind of like kind of just take a second to rejuvenate and become kind of myself again where I'm able to kind of get ready and I just feel clean and I feel better so that's one thing that I really really have enjoyed is my 30 minutes to an hour of just me time and I feel like Chase it also enjoys it or I will say it was hard being like away from the baby even for those 30 minutes to an hour but I can tell that it really does help us to kind of have a clear mind and be able to um, get some things done that we really wanted to or just make us feel better feel like ourselves so I'm really grateful for that. Other things that I really liked that really helped me a ton, especially for the first two weeks, was switching off between a sits bath. If you don't know what that is, it's just like um, a little bath, especially helps with stitches if you tear. And also uh, um, switching back and forth between that and doing ice packs, that really helped me a thousand times. And I can talk more about it if you guys are interested in like a postpartum, what kind of helped me with my favorite tips and tricks that I had. That was something that was super rejuvenating and um, helped me to feel a thousand times better. So those are like a few little things. Emotionally, I feel like I've done really, really good. I feel like the, the 30 minutes to an hour have really helped me um, emotionally to kind of feel like myself still, to still feel beautiful and not just, I don't know, just to be able to take care of myself a little bit. It helps me to feel better. Another thing helps me emotionally is just making sure I'm talking to Chase about how I feel and making sure we're both checking in on each other and making sure that he's doing okay and that I'm doing okay. And it's been such a cool experience that we've had to figure out together just because I feel like before having a baby, we never really had to do that as much. So it's been nice to kind of gain this like different um, part in our relationship, this next stage where we're able to check in on each other and just, I feel like grow our relationship. And so that's been really, really cool. Other things, emotionally, I feel like I've been doing really, really good. I feel like I haven't um, been super anxious and also am very grateful. I feel like one thing that's helped me to not be so anxious because I feel like at the very beginning, especially in the hospital, I was super worried about um, SIDS, which is like sudden infant death syndrome where your baby just stops breathing. And I was really, really nervous about that. But I feel like I, I got an outlet. It's a little sock that tells you and alerts you if your baby stops breathing. And it does a few other vitals and things. And I feel like there's some cheaper options on Amazon that I've seen. I don't know how great they work, but that is something that's really given me a peace of mind and helped me a lot emotionally. It's helped me to sleep better because I know that it will alert me if there's any issues. Yeah, so that really helped me a ton. And I would highly recommend some sort of thing for you, especially you new moms that are really worried about that, finding something that's something kind of similar because that's really given me um, a lot of peace and helped me, again, to sleep well. And when I'm sleeping well, I also feel like I'm a lot better emotionally. Just emotionally, I feel like I've done pretty good and who knows, like there's some days where it's off and I, I've cried a few times for sure and I think that, that comes along with parenting because you just want to make sure you're doing the best and you're being the best mom and being the best parent that you can be for your um, for your child and sometimes that can be difficult and hard and even um, our baby a few days or a week ago or so, he just had really bad um, 
gas pain and that was really hard for me to see him in pain and I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when he's sick and I'm sure it's gonna be even harder and I just hope that he doesn't get sick but I know that that that's gonna happen at some point and so that was really hard for me and it's okay to cry sometimes and it's okay to let your partner know you're struggling or things like that and I feel like I've been really lucky and I've been able to feel pretty good about everything so right now postpartum I feel like really good and I feel like I'm looking forward to working out I've been able to go on walks just last week we were able to go on um, a, we had to go on a trip for some housing options when it comes to med school and we'll talk to you guys a little bit more about that later I was able to get up and move and I felt totally fine I feel healthy I feel good basically feel like myself there's a few things I definitely still need to kind of work on I'm not a hundred percent yet but I'm getting there and I'm really looking forward to going back to my workout class my high fit class it was so cute all of my fun gym moms they came over and brought me little treats and stuff and I miss them a lot and I'm so excited to start working out again and I'm sure it's gonna be slow and I I'm okay with that, but I'm just really excited to go back to my workout class because it's just something that I love. I'm getting there. I'm feeling a lot better about myself and there's definitely things like your body definitely has changed a lot. That's okay. And I feel like I'm looking forward to getting back to the gym and yeah, I've been doing really good. I'm grateful for um, all you guys and all the support and I'm so grateful for my sweet baby and I'm grateful for my husband and my family and Kobe Bear, our puppy, is doing good. At first he was having a little bit of a hard time and that's another reason why I cried is because he was having a hard time and because he's also like my baby but he's doing tons better now and he loves the baby and it's so fun to kind of start seeing them bonding. He loves to kiss Ace's feet and Ace hates it and so that's kind of funny but it's just been, it's been good. And I'm really, really grateful for the life that I have and this experience. And throughout the rest of this like postpartum time, I do want to keep um, up with it on YouTube. And so let me know if you guys are still interested. I think that it's kind of cool to see. Um, I kind of want to share my postpartum journey and show you guys either like fitness stuff, but also um, just how I'm doing emotionally and things that have really helped me emotionally. So prepare for some of those if you guys are interested. And again, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. I love you all. Bye.